blood shed and what happened on the Passover was to be remembered forever. Verse 24 says that. It is to be remembered forever. You shall observe this thing as an ordinance for you and your sons forever. Even when you go into the promised land when everything is okay and smooth going, nothing is wrong. Even then you should never forget this. Why? Because that smooth going life, the land of milk and honey and all the facilities and the good things that you enjoy was made possible by the death of that lamb, the Passover lamb, and by the blood that was shed. So you should never forget this. You should always remember this. God gives them certain ways to remember this whole thing. He said, remember this and observe this throughout, uh, I mean, uh, you and your sons, must observe it as an ordinance forever, it said, and give them some ways they can do it. Verse 9, 13, 9, it shall be as a sign to you on your hand and as a memorial between your eyes that the, Lord, uh, that the Lord's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. What does it mean? It means that man's hand has been now consecrated by the blood. Which means that he cannot use it for evil. He must employ it for the Lord. He could not take his food or his tool in his hand without remembering the sprinkling blo uh, sprinkled blood. Why? Because the sprinkled blood is what made his food and his labor, his work, a blessing. When they came into the promised land, they were doing very well. But God said, do this because when you're doing very well and things are going very well, you're earning well and things are increasing, you're building bigger barns and having great harvests. Remember, you would have been a slave there. I delivered you by the power of the blood of that lamb. I brought you out. And so think about that. You cannot do evil with these hands. Because you're a blood-marked person. You're consecrated to the Lord. Use your hands to do good. Because it's God-blessed hands. Amen? Everybody say, my hand is God-blessed hands. Whatever I put my hand to do is blessed. I do it in the name of Jesus. By the power of God. I'm redeemed from all the curse. I am not cursed. I am blessed. Because of the blood of Jesus that has been sprinkled on me. My hand is a blessed hand. <laughs> believe that. When you go forth and work, believe that. Put your blessed hand in everything that you put your hand on. will be blessed. Believe that. Be blessed because, not because you are so good. Blessed because of his grace. Because of the blood that was shed. It's blessed. Why put it here between the eyes? Because you need to look at it everything, look at everything in terms of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Everything must be uh, thought of in light of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Everything has come to us through the blood of Jesus Christ. Make sure that you remember it all the time, that it's because of the blood, because of God's grace, because of the Lamb of God, that you're free, that you're happy, that you're successful, that things are happening in your life by God's grace. Good things have come into your life. Always remember that. <laughs>